held that title now for 46 years. My wife is very close behind me. As a matter of fact, we might as well do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another world title. Never in the history of Taekwondo has any woman ever received a ninth degree black belt in Taekwondo Chung Lu Kwan. I officially award this to Senior Grandmaster Brenda J. Sell, Ninth Don. footsteps. Because if you follow me, don't follow me because I'm following the Holy Spirit. I prayed heavily and the U.S. Chumman Association was birthed. Everything from putting marks on the belt, organizing, creating certificates, documenting and formatting the rules, regulations, standardized operating procedures, Everything, say everything, everything. <laughs> come from God. And as I continued to keep my rapport and my relationship with Korea, I realized that upon building this organization, it was almost identical to what they had in Korea. Because, see, I, don't, I didn't speak Korean. I still don't speak Korean. Anya Hashimika, hello, how are you? <laughs> But I was inspired. That was my first dream. I look around here today. This is but a speck of our entire operation. We have tournaments like this several times a year in different locations across the country. We have so many grand so many masters now. I'm so proud of them. Would all my senior instructor school owners stand up or raise your hand? These are the leaders. These are the people, the pillars that hold it up. This is just a portion of about 110 schools that we have scattered all over the country. After I began teaching in my first school in Trenton, Michigan, then Orlando, or Orlando, excuse me, then Ypsilanti, then Ann Arbor, then we relocated to Lakeland, Florida. Strange thing happened to me. I became born again. And the Lord touched my heart. He gave me the compassion of a hundred men. And then I got my computer out, got rid of the old beat up typewriter. And I said, now how can we use our talents we have here to touch people's lives in a positive way? I created world's first Taekwondo evangelistic ministry called the Cell Team consisting of my wife and I and several selected students who traveled all over the country performing. We returned back home and continued building this organization and building our schools. Then we started traveling around the world. We worked for the Pentagon for 20 years, traveling to various installations across the country. Shortly, you're going to see on the screen here, 
where I love being, on a stage, holding the Bible in front of 10,000 soldiers and having them bow their heads and pray. Prior to Desert Storm, the 82nd Airborne, <coughs> my wife and I had the privilege of praying for them, bringing them closer to God. They went, over, they went over, they didn't realize it. Within six weeks after we were with them, they went to war. How many veterans do we have here? Please stand. <coughs> 